here with Trevor James, EDM Magazine, still rocking around NAMM 2012. We're here at the Akai booth, gonna check out the new MPC Renaissance. Dan from Akai is gonna give us the lowdown on this new unit and uh, what its functions are. Hi guys, this right here is the MPC Renaissance. It's a MIDI controller, USB audio interface and software, all in one package. This guy is designed here so 90% of what you want to do can be done right here without ever having to look at the computer screen. All your UI buttons are one button press away, um, all the main features that you'd want to do. Right here, these 16 knobs automatically map to the software. They also automatically map to any VSTs you have loaded. Uh, this program can run on its own. It can also run as a VSD plugin. can run as an RTAS plugin or an AU plugin. Uh, it also can run VSTs and AUs. Uh, it has a built-in four-channel USB audio interface, 24-bit, 96 kilohertz. So it's got that MPC sound. So you can, tr you can trigger it, do everything on the fly right here. You can bounce between sequences. Works just like an MPC. And uh, this is $12.99, and this will be out in summer. Awesome. Fantastic. So it, I, I like the fact that you, it's an audio interface as well. What yeah. kind of input IOs do you have on inputs, outputs? Uh, this guy has four ins and four outs, has a dedicated turntable input, also has two uh, combo jacks, so you can plug in a mic or plug in a quarter inch jack. Okay. Um, also, we got digital spidiff over here, two, two MIDI ins, four MIDI outs, and also you have a USB hub here. Plug in a, plug in a USB stick, plug in a uh, drive, that pops up right on your computer. Oh, fantastic. So it's got a hub, so it, it's got the, the USB on board there. Yeah. That's cool, so it doesn't actually take up it, uh, exactly. one of your USB, which is more important if you have a MacBook Pro, you only got two of those bad boys exactly. on there. It's, uh, what you can do is have, have your dongles plugged in right there. Exactly, exactly, yeah, because those dongles, I mean, it takes up the space, you know. Yeah. The last thing you need is one more USB port taken up. Actually, we just had a, we just had a guys here at the booth, and they came in. They wrote a beat. They bossed it down to a, a USB stick. We plugged in the USB stick in the back, and just he took it on his way. So it was pretty cool. Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty convenient. So yeah. that's awesome. And, and uh, is this available now? Or uh, this will be available in summertime. It'll be available in the summertime. Cool. Yeah. And um, anybody that wants to get some news information, any of the the, the upcoming news, what's the website they can go to? They can go to akaiprompc.com or akaipro.com. AkaiProMPC.com or AkaiPro.com, MPC Renaissance. Now they're they're utilizing, from what I've heard in this unit, um, you can select which MPC's compression you yes. want to use, right? Well, actually, let me explain how that works. Right here, the aided the audio circuitry of this guy is the exact same analog circuitry as the MPC 3000. Right. Widely regarded as the best sounding MPC that was ever made. Right. We use a modern A to D converter, so you can get 24 bit, 96 kilohertz. But when you press this button here, vintage mode. This button, you can select MPC 3000, which becomes a mid-90s sort of ADD sound. Right. It gives you a little bit of compression that the MPC 3000 yeah. had too. This right here switches it then to MPC 60. It's thinner. Yeah. Uh, actually, it becomes even dirtier and even fatter. It's a 12-bit oh, really? sound, gets a, little, gets a little darker. And then other, what that is, is you, it's going to be a list of different models that we can use. Uh, we've gotten requests for the SV1200. So you guys, are you guys going to implement in the future different algorithms yeah, for we're, different models? Exactly. We're going to be updating the software as we go. Awesome. Um, you know, there's going to be MPC 1, 1.5, 1. 1. Uh, 2, 2.0. And every time we want to release a couple new models or, you know, whatever people fe request as far as features go. Right on. And I see on the front you have connectivity for foot switches. Oh, yeah. A couple, di uh, a couple different headphone jacks, eighth inch and quarter inch headphone jacks. That's yeah, two, cool. two different headphone jacks. And these foot switches. These are cool because they can be set to tap tempo. They can be set to um, they can be set to actually trigger another pad, right. or those can be set to play and play stop, or play and record and stop. So you can you can uh, do like record guitar or whatever, right. or record and roll the mic, and you never have to touch the unit. You can be across the room. Right. Well, that's very cool. Very cool. Well, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I'm excited to um, see this bad boy come out and get get some use. Cool. Good times. All right, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Got it with Dan here at NAM, uh, at NAM from uh, Akai, showing us the MPC Renaissance, brand new technology. You want to go to akaipro.com and check that out. Thank you very much. Thank you.